Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Matomo, an open source Google Analytics alternative on Linux. To get started, launch a terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then we'll use apt install to install the Apache 2 web server and MariaDB database backend, as well as PHP and the required PHP modules. We'll elevate to a root shell using sudo su, then execute the MySQL secure installation script. Follow the prompts to set a root MySQL password and mitigate known MySQL vulnerabilities. Next, we'll connect to the MariaDB database using the MySQL command line utility. Using SQL commands, we'll create an analytics database as well as a service account with full permissions to the new database. Then we'll flush privileges, close the connection to MySQL, and exit the root shell. Now we'll use the wget command to download the latest release of Matomo. We'll extract the downloaded zip archive to the web root, then rename the extracted folder to analytics. And finally, we'll set the owner of the new directory to the www data group. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host slash analytics. Click next on the welcome screen. Scroll to the bottom of the system check and click next. Using the video description as a guide, complete the database setup form, then click Next. Click Next once the database tables are created. Then complete the form to create a super user account. Enter a website name, URL, and time zone to generate a Matomo tracking code. Copy the generated Matomo tracking code if you're ready to begin using it. You'll add this to the source code of your website to begin tracking analytics. Then scroll to the bottom of the page and click Next. Finally, scroll to the bottom of the page and click Continue to Matomo. Log in using the super user username and password we created earlier. Welcome to Matomo, running on your Linux-based Apache web server. I like to install the dark theme, so I'll navigate to the settings, platform, marketplace, filter to themes, and install the dark theme. When prompted, enter the super user password to confirm the installation. Once the theme is installed, click the activate theme button to enable it. 